G'day! In today's video, I'm just doing a longer video regarding cleaning up malware on an Android phone. So this one has been brought in, and as you see, it's doing rather invasive stuff. If I swipe up from the bottom and press home, give it back to here. If I press this, I go to load up the multiple, to load up what's running. If I go to it, it closes itself. So right now, what I want to be able to do is get into settings. It's going to be a bit of a battle, but I should be able to swipe down from the top and click on the cog. Whoop. Click on the cog, and you're probably going to have to do this repeatedly. And then we want to scroll down to apps. If it lets you, if it basically if it keeps battling you, we want to press this button and go back to settings if an ad pops up. Once we're here, I want to click on the arrow and then I want to go by last used and go OK. So what that in theory should do is whenever an ad pops up, it should be really high up in this list. It might take a while for it to refresh itself, but it should eventually figure itself out and show you the latest stuff. So right now I'm in settings. If an ad pops up, it's going to be above settings temporarily. So clean sweep, it must be one of the ads that are coming up. So I'm going to click on it and go remove. Also another good spot to look at is, here we go. Oop, I got slightly interrupted. So we've now got a few more ads loaded up. On over here. One other also thing that will, one other thing that I would recommend doing as well is turning off Wi-Fi and sticking in airplane mode, potentially restarting the phone right at the beginning because that should hopefully clear off most the access that these ads now have to the internet to draw in the ads, or the malware has access to the internet. So with the internet killed, in theory, I should be able to go into settings again. It's being very persistent. Here, uninstall. Now one thing, like see a lot of these cleaning ones popping up. A lot of cleaning, a lot of PDF programs, device file police, that also sounds very sus to me. So I'm literally clicking on here. <laughs> and then going uninstall and just repeat. Hopefully you can get access to the phone long enough to be able to properly clear them. I suspect that this Play Store one is not the Play Store. I think it says app downloaded. Right. Enable it. No. Is Chrome actually Chrome? Installed unknown apps. Enable. Enable. Nope. Clean junk faster. Yes, go away. Cozy weather, that's another one that I'm highly likely. There's a, everything seems to be coming in via weather. Cleaning, weather, PDFs, blood pressure monitoring. They seem to be the current trend of apps that I see that are bringing in malware. There's heaps on here. As you start deleting them, you will in turn increase the speed of you being able to remove them because there'll be less of them trying to pop up constantly. When you first try and do it, you're battling them and you're battling them, but the more that you remove, the less of them come up, the less of them come up, the easier it is to remove it between ads. So yeah, just go into them. Like what this list at the very top here should mostly be, WebZone I believe is legitimate, but I'm gonna give that the boot as well. And we're still just seeing cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Cleaning suite, cleaning AI, AI cleaning, AI cleaner, clean whiz. All of these are just junk. Whoop. Pure clean AI, go away, you're all just junk. Antivirus toolkit, you sound dodgy. Nova clean, go away. Let's go back up to the top. 
mostly. So we've got settings where we are. One UI, which is the overall appearance, the main screen of the phone, this one here. And then we have Google Play, Google Chrome, Google, Gmail, Photos, Camera, Facebook Lite, Galaxy Store, Messages, Phone, Calendar, all those are legitimate, or I'm pretty confident they are. And as I scroll through, we're getting into older apps that have been on this phone for a while now that are basically absolutely useless. Device tree, you don't sound useful at all. Usually I go with the rule of, if you know what it is, you've possibly put it on there. If you don't, probably just get rid of it. Usually anything that you've put on here, if you do actually need it, you can re-download it. As simple as that. If you accidentally remove something, whoop, archive, I don't wanna archive that. So let's say I accidentally remove ABC iView, which is a, an Australian streaming, video streaming app. If you accidentally remove that, well, you can just grab it again. It'll be fine. Plant identifier, eh, I'll just use Google Lens personally. Um, but right now we're getting into the much older stuff that's been on this phone. And it's all looking pretty normal to me. What I'll do from here is then we'll turn the internet back on. Because with the internet back on, if any of those ones that are injecting ads, the malware that's injecting ads, will hopefully start doing it again, and then they'll push them to the top of this list right here. So yeah, basically constantly having it searched by last used is pretty good. An alternative you can do is last updated. So if it just got installed and put on there, it very well may show up to the top of the list here. But that should hopefully help you clean out the majority of them. Some malware I do see, it masquerades as legitimate program. So you might have Gmail, but it might be all lowercase. To prove that it's a legitimate program, you should be able to go into here and scroll down to, to the bottom. And at the bottom here, it should have view in Google Play, uh, Google Store. If it doesn't say Google Play Store down the bottom, it's probably embedded on the phone. So if I go Facebook Lite, for example, scroll down the bottom, app details in store. So it should mention where it was downloaded from. If we go to another one, ABC News. App download details in store. If let's say it says ABC News and I click on here and it loads the app store and has some random name, remove it. It's gonna be malware. So right now this phone is looking much better than where it was. Another one that I do like to do as well is disable notifications on Google Chrome. So I'm just gonna load that up now. So if you find Google Chrome on your phone, well actually, here we go, there's another. Hyperclean. Go away. Hmm. Weirdly, I told that to uninstall. I clicked on the wrong uninstall. There we go. That's another just interesting one there. Most of that's all looking pretty much fine. Now I'm going to go to Chrome. I'll just Load up Chrome, I'll just move it away for a second in case there's some private information there. And I wanna go, once in Chrome, I wanna click on three dots, delete browsing history, more options. I wanna delete browsing history, probably all time. Browsing history, cookie data, cached files. I'm gonna close the tabs, there's a ridiculous amount of tabs. Leave the saved passwords, leave autofill. There we go, delete, delete. And that's gonna take a little while to do that, but should sort itself out in the end there. And then from there, Google Chrome should be relatively fine to use. So once Chrome has finished sorting itself out, what I'd recommend doing is going into, going into the three dots again. So load, once you've deleted the temporary files, or delete the browsing history, I would recommend going back to three dots, going to settings, and going down to notifications. I find the vast majority of notifications I see of Google Chrome are usually just some form of malware or spam, basically unwanted. So I'd recommend going in here and turn off notifications for Chrome. So with that, you will no longer get notifications coming in up the top up here. So if I go clear. So you might have like Google Chrome and it might just be a complete fraudulent notification coming up. So I find that tends to help rather than hinder. Um, from there, there's really not much further that I need to do on this particular phone. 
So I hope that helps you with yours. I just thought I'd create a slightly longer version, a slower version of a video I've already done. And some people were saying it was just too fast to follow. So the biggest thing is getting into setting or turning off your Wi-Fi, putting on airplane mode before you do anything, maybe even restart the phone to begin with. So I've got airplane mode, power, restart. Once the phone is restarted, from there we'd go into settings and then apps. And then go by, so change how it's sorting, last used. And then from there, hopefully, those ads start popping up and you can basically knock them back, get rid of them, get your phone back. Hope that helps and I'll see you later. Bye. Airplane mode, done.